안녕하십니까 온라인 서절의 김경원입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim Kyungwon. I'm honored to meet with you. This is the patient of the day. The patient is 41-year-old male patient, and the patient first came in June 2022, as shown. The patient had number 25 missing. If you look at patient history, the patient wanted implant treatment, and in number 25, it's been five months since extraction. It was done at a different dental clinic. If you look at patient medical history, there was hypertension, but it was under control, and there were no major symptoms. When I looked at the CBCT in number 25, there's buccal wall defect in the extraction socket. I provided overall oral care to the patient. And after placing implant, I plan to do intra-socket graft. Within the extraction socket, there is a buccal wall defect, and using AOS, I plan to do GBR. Membrane was not included in the plan. When I look at the CT in number 25 in buccal area, there is bone defect, and on the palatal side, there is a bit more bone, so surgery was planned. One guy team was consulted and TS3B, a surface 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant was chosen. Primary stability will be gained from the apex side in the sinus of floor. If I use this implant on the CBCT, the extraction socket was extensive and very little bone existed. It looked as if it's like D3 bone. On the apex side, implant stability needs to be gained. Therefore, the plan was to place the implant like this, and in the area where there is buccal wall defect, AOS will be used to do intrasocket graft. This is the one guide template. It has been adapted. This was followed by implant placement. The implant driver was used. It is in line with the yellow, the triangle and healing abutment is connected here. Immediate post-op image. You can see that it, it is slightly in contact with the sinus floor. AOS was used to do intrasocket graft in the buccal wall area. TS3BA 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant was used, and primary stability was favorable. ISQ value was 75 and 79 and healing abutment was connected. If you look at the immediate post-op image, this is CT image. Implant was placed like this in the intra-socket. AOS was used for bone graft. In the area where there used to be buccal wall defect, the bone graft was placed. This is after prosthesis delivery, after five months since surgery, ER type prosthesis was provided. In the area where there used to be a bone defect, the implant was placed and intrasocket graft was done. This is at eight once after surgery. CT was taken once again. You can see on the buccal side where intrasocket graft was done, consolidation is occurring. And you can see that healing is occurring nicely here. At the time, I used EOS. Now, I would rather use EOS collagen. Let's look at the surgical clip. It's been five months since extraction, so it's been healed. One guy template is adapted. Window is used to position the one guy template. Tissue punch is used to remove overriding mucosa. Tissue punch is used to remove gingiva thoroughly. Although intrasocket graft is included in the plan, incision is not made. Tissue punch is used to remove gingiva and implant will be placed. Flattening drill is used to remove the bone. 
full length of drilling is done. Nothing is really coming up because it's an extraction socket. Initial drill is used for drilling. It's been five months since extraction. As shown, initial drilling is done. After that, 3.5 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used for drilling. Pumping action is used to prevent bone heating. Depth gauge is used to check whether sinus floor has been penetrated, but it's not. 4.0 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used as final drill. It's extraction socket, therefore, for primary stability, 4.0 by 10 millimeter one guide drill is used. Once again, I'm checking whether the sinus floor is penetrated. I can sense something on the apex side, but that's not going to be a problem. TS3 BA 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant is sufficiently irrigated, and now I'm positioning the implant. With engine, the implant is placed 80% because under drilling is done. The primary stability is more favorable. The implant driver is used to position the implant. Final position is adjusted. If you take a look over here, primary stability is over 30 newton centimeter, and it's much better than what was anticipated, so it's not going to be a problem. Implant placement depth and direction is being adjusted. ISQ value is 79.75. It's very favorable. As shown on the CT, there was defect on the buccal side. After placing implant, minor incision is made. Flap is not reflected significantly. I am doing ablation next to the implant and bone graft will be performed. Extraction was performed about five months ago. Graft material should not go inside the implant inner surface, therefore healing abutment is connected and on the buccal side bone graft is performed. In the buccal defect area, as shown, EOS was used for intra-socket graft. Sufficient bone graft has been performed because this is a minor flap. Now suture is being done in the area where tissue punch was performed. There was no perio-steel releasing incision and healing abutment has been connected. Therefore, suture is done without a problem. Adjacent tooth is used for anchor suture to prevent tearing. First suture is in. In the distal side, as shown, suture is performed. In this case, as shown, there was alveolar bone defect on buccal side. AOS was used for intrasocket graft. Intrasocket graft was planned, however, tissue punch was used to remove overriding mucosa because the patient had extraction five months ago, and after placing implant, minor flap was reflected to perform intrasocket graft. Even when 
when planning GBR, when connecting healing apartment, you do not need to make incision ahead. You can use tissue punch and place the implant. After that, you can reflect flap in a minor way and do intrasocket graft to get good results. Thank you for watching.